What's going on? I'd like to welcome you all to Order Your Soil. So today I'm doing a video and it's gonna be an unboxing. It's gonna be an unboxing of the Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. So, you know, I, I won these on sneakers app. I say I won them because it was a draw. Now, normally I catch a big L on sneakers app. I think a lot of people do. I catch a big L every time. But I'm one of the OGs to this because prior to the past couple of years, I used to get uh, Jordan 1s and Jordan Retros off of sneaker app all the time. It used to be so easy to get sneakers off the of sneakers app as far as Jordans is concerned. I remember back in like 2016, 2015, the Jordan Retros, they used to sit, they used to go, they used to sit on Nike and sneaker app. They used to go on sale, some of them. Like, it, it was plenty of times, in fact, not just sneakers app, but everywhere. You know, plenty of times you could go on East Bay and get some Jordan 1 Retros. You could go on Nike, of course, Foot Locker, uh, Foot Action, Finish Line. You could go on these places. You could even go to the mall and different uh, sneaker stores. And you could go and Jordan 1s would be sitting. All of the Retros, a lot of them would be sitting. Those days are over with. You know, it's like the pandemic just woke everyone up. So everyone is up to up on uh, Jordan Retros now. But anyways, I made this video because I wanted to do an unboxing. UPS unboxing straight from Nike. You know, just to show that I really did win. And yeah, they are authentic. Um, I don't have an issue with anyone who doesn't rock sneakers that are uh, authentic. You know, shout out to everyone who rocks UAs. I can't wear UAs because I wear a size 14. Now, I don't think UAs come into a size 14. I think the highest they go is 13. But I don't know because I don't wear UAs because I can't. But anyways, I'm going to just walk y'all through the process and what happened. It's not like I'm some special person or something or I did something special. I really didn't. So what happened is Saturday, I intended on putting my uh my i guess you could say offering for the sneakers i didn't know it was a draw honestly until the moment i went to try to get them prior to that i didn't pay attention i just thought it was the usual 10 a.m come you click on it and then you wait uh, and wait and wait and catch a big l but anyways i was working out i was doing cardio and i so happened to look down at my phone because i forgot about it and it was 10.01 and I'm like, wow, I forgot. So I put it in, I put all my information in. By the time I finally entered the draw, it was 10.02. So I didn't enter the draw at 10 on the dot. I didn't, I entered it at 10.02. So, you know, after that, I was like, I'm late to the draw. You know, I'm about to catch a big L as usual, as I always do. So I figured, hey, it is what it is. I'm, I don't care. So I put my phone, put my phone down, start back, listen to my music in my headphones. So next thing you know, a little while later, I got a notification and it was from Nike, you know, sneakers app. And I'm like, wait, hold up. So I get the notification. I'm thinking it's the typical, you were not selected. However, it told me that I got them. And I was like, what? You know, it was crazy because this was the first time in a long time that I entered the draw because I did enter draws in the past for, you know, the, the Travis Scott's and things of that nature, but I always caught the big L. So this time I entered the draw and, you know, I got that W. But it's kind of weird because I'm wondering if the draw was created to make it more fair for people. I guess we'll find out more with time, but there were a couple of other people that I know that also got a W. They also were able to get them. So hopefully that is the purpose of the draw to help more people get their hands on the releases. I really hope that's what it's for because like I said, it could be just the luck of a draw, but I figure, you know, I got the W the first time they actually took you know, regular selection off and actually made it a draw. So like I said, hopefully everybody else will be able to get their chance with the draw. Hopefully that's how they're doing it. But anyways, stay tuned for my unboxing and my on-feet review. I ask that you all like and subscribe. I'm not a sneaker review channel, but I do have good material on here in regards to other things like personal finance. And I'm going to be doing some unboxes in the future as well. I thank you all for watching. 
All right, so let's get into this unboxing. You know, y'all are actually seeing and witnessing this the same time as me. You know, straight from the UPS box. Uh, you know, I hate the just do it sign on the box. Like, I, I can't stand when Nike does that. Um, I feel like it exposes the consumer. Uh, if someone wants to steal something from you, and of course, they're going to take the just do it box. They know it's probably a Nike product in there. So hopefully I'm hoping that they change that in the future. I'm not sure if they will because it's been going on for a while now, but I'm really hoping it does uh, just just to stop everyone from being exposed, you know. But anyways, um, I'm seeing these shoes the same time as you live when i got the shoes this was the first time of me seeing them in hand up close and personal of course i saw them on the web but this is the first time of me seeing them in hand as you can see they're size 14 uh i got them on sneakers app as i stated and um i was happy that i finally got the draw you know it's funny because in the previous slide i talk about l big l w and things of that nature that's that social media talk but anyways let's see what the box got to show off uh as far as the shoes are concerned i'll I, honestly like i said it caught me by surprise winning these shoes i did not and i say win because it was the draw but i did not think i was gonna get selected with the draw but i love the way these look man of course my shoestrings wasn't attached that's not the first time that happened to me that also happened to me uh other pairs of jordan one but i don't worry about that you know it is what it is whether it's attached or not as long as the shoe is legit this is my size 14 right here i love the way the materials feel in hand I'm not a big material person like, oh, the leather is this, the leather is that. I get a shoe for how it looks, but the materials on these feel nice and soft and I like them. I like the design too. That's the left shoe right there. Getting into the right shoe. I like how the right shoe look as well, of course. I like that color, man. That color, that hyper royal on the shoe. I love that color. I think these look dope. I'm not gonna wear those blue shoe strings with the shoe. I prefer the white. I think the white give it a classic look, a classic feel. But that blue on it, man, it's hitting. I love that blue. And it blends so well with that gray. So I'm happy about having these. I know it's gonna be a big hype when it comes to resale. I told myself I wasn't gonna pay resale. I haven't paid resale for anything I have yet. And I'm not gonna pay it. And I can't get authentic. I don't think authentics, I mean, I don't think they, uh, well, this is authentics, but I don't think UAs come in a size uh, 14. I wear a 14 and I'm not gonna go down to a 13 just so I can have this shoe. I'm not gonna hurt my foot and mess my foot up. But anyways, I'm not rocking that blue. Like I said, I'm not rocking those blue laces, but the white laces do me justice. So now let's get into this on foot review. One quick thing with this on foot review, I don't got them laced up how I normally would, nor do I got on the right pants that I will wear. I'm showing off the shoe. I'm not concerned with all that other stuff. I'm not giving you a fashion show. I'm showing the shoe. 